A very good day to you and welcome to the program. I want to speak to you about the word disobedience. Disobedience. If you have your Bible with you, please, if you could turn with me to the book of Numbers, right at the beginning of the Bible in the Old Testament, Numbers chapter 20. And I'm just going to read two verses to you. And Moses and Aaron gathered the assembly together before the rock. And they said to them, Hear now, you rebels. Must we, bring, must we bring water for you out of this rock? Then Moses lifted his hand and he struck the rock twice with his rod. And the water came out abundantly and the congregation and their animals drank. Verse 12. Then the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron and he said, Because you did not believe me to hallow me in the eyes of the children of Israel, therefore you shall not bring this assembly into the land which I have given them. The people were complaining, the people were moaning, the people were probably getting ready to stone Moses and Aaron again because they had no water. They had been in the desert. Their animals were dying of thirst. And then the Lord came to Moses and to Aaron and said, go to the rock and speak to the rock. And water will come out and will feed my people. What did Moses do? He did two things wrong. He was disobedient. The first thing he did was he took God's glory. He said, what do you want us, him and his brother Aaron, to do for you? Not what do you want God to do for you? What do you want us to do? And then the second thing he did, probably because he was so angry, and you can understand that, can't you? Instead of speaking to the rock, he struck the rock with his rod and the water came out. And because of that, the Lord said to Moses and Aaron, you will not enter into the land of milk and honey. And I must be honest with you, as, an, as a new Christian, when I read that, I thought, Lord, isn't that a bit harsh? <laughs> you know, he'd been taking the people through the desert for 40 years. He had confronted Pharaoh. He had had the faith to trust God to open an ocean, the Red Sea, and let the people go through. And uh, he had led them, and now he couldn't go across. And I, I want to say to you, our God is a holy God. We need to do what he tells us to do. No more and no less. And most important, never to touch God's glory. As soon as you do that, you've had it. God will not share his glory with any man. And when Moses said to the children of Israel, what do you want us to do for you? He made a big mistake. What he should have said, what do you want God to do for you? And he should have spoken to the rock and not struck it in anger. And so the Lord allowed Moses to go up to the top of Mount Nebo, which is in Jordan, and look across the Jordan River. And he, he probably would have seen Jericho there and he would have seen the land of milk and honey but he was not allowed to go across. I want to say to you, let us obey the word of God. Remember, holiness is the end product of obedience. And when we become an obedient people, we become a holy people. Don't lose it right at the end. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Do only what he tells you to do. No more and no less. And then you and I will go across into the promised land, which is eternity. Until next time, may God bless you and goodbye.